It's freezing today. And uh, well, we're heading to your garage. What are we doing on Fastlane Daily segment the road <laughs> testament anyway? Today we're going to actually look at uh, a new application. Actually, it's not quite new, not, not that new, but it's an application that I think we care about because we're car guys. It's called Rev. Fuel mapping, ECU, engine management, clearing error codes. That's right. This is an app for that. That's an app for that. What's it called? It's called Rev. How much is it? It's like 20 bucks on the App Store. Does it need like the bad the vag well, that's the thing. tool? Yes, but it's it uses Wi-Fi, so you actually don't need to plug it in. And right. the beauty How much does this cable cost? 100 bucks. With the Wi-Fi connector. Yes. And I want this. I, I do too, and that's why I bought it. But the thing that, that's actually great about this whole little package is that it can be used while you're driving to look at how your car is performing and you can compare that data to other cars on the road. That doesn't sound safe. Let's see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> This episode of Fastlane Daily is brought to you by Auto Wall Art. Turn your favorite automotive photo into a work of canvas art. Go to autowallart.com. Well, this is 144A, and 144A is generally in a secret location known as AI Design. Um, <laughs> today, it's in the garage below my apartment. I love your little sticker. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Fastlane sticker. Okay, so what we have here is actually the, the just a normal iPod with the Rev software. Rev is kind of the, uh, the most basic form of, of, I guess you could still call it like telemetry. Diagnostic so, software. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then here is actually the device that you need. It's a, it's a Wi-Fi connection. So basically it transmits from your ECU with a standard OBT, OB, OB, OBD2. OBD2 port. Uh, and then you can connect to it through your iPod. With a pass. Password. Password, yes. So, like Knight Rider, you can just drive by other cars otherwise. No, no. And you can. You need a password. But, but the, how much does this cable cost? It's about a hundred dollars. You remember my old Audi S4? You're the what, B4. Yeah. You had B, the, B5. Yeah, right. B5. Yeah. Uh, it was like a five hundred dollar the VAG tool. Uh, yeah, the VAG, the VAG tool. Yeah, yeah. And, and you so, need a laptop. Right. It was bulky. Now and it was it's, also it's condensed PC into this. based. You need a serial port RS232. Yeah. So this is a huge step forward. Very, very good step forward. And and the thing you have to remember though is that this only works on cars built after two thousand. I guess there was well, a standardization of, and this is a 2005, yeah, so it works perfectly. Thank God. Okay. Car is running. So that's a Wi-Fi signal that's now being transmitted. What we've done here is we've connected the, uh, the Kiwi wireless port. We've connected via Wi-Fi on the iPod to the car. So now what we can have is full access to the car's ECU. And just so I'm clear, I can have this running at while I'm driving the car. Exactly, anytime. And the, the range of what you can do, you can look at any data that goes to the ECU. Data including in, uh, intake temperature. Uh, no, no one driving is going to understand that. Well, Next. no, no, let's go through. Uh, RPMs, uh, throttle position, speed. Uh, any of the fuel timing. Um, well, I'll tell you what. All, even even to the engine codes, any information that goes to the ECU, even even tire pressure management, you can get through this program. Now, we, what we have here is we have we can't go driving right now, but we have a track from the last the drive from Daytona yesterday. Yes, you can actually see. I did a zero to sixty run here. Full throttle. Wait, is that speed in the left? Speed is in gray. Yeah. So you've got speeds in gray. Speeds in gray. Blue is. A throttle position, so 100% throttle position. Uh -huh. So I'm flat out, first gear, second gear, third gear. Different altitudes have different effects on engines, mm -hmm. on temperature. Temperature mm -hmm. affects engine performance. So you have cars sold in you know, Colorado have slightly different ECU maps. Now, logically, like we learned from you know, CVT infinite vario, you know, vario transmissions, mm -hmm. logically, there should be multiple different maps for your engine ECU, for performance, for fuel economy. Hybrid cars like Priuses, Prius owners have hacked mm -hmm. their ECUs for better fuel economy. Fuel economy, yeah, exactly. Logically, a manufacturer should tie together location data, like what TomTom's been doing, with performance data like this, such that you know you might an engine might have five, ten, or twenty different ECU maps that you can change. That, that you can change. Yeah. You can change it yourself, or yeah. you can set default. So based on temperature, seasonality, location, altitude, mm -hmm. your car is constantly running different maps appropriate for it. 
Having this conglomerate of information from all these different users providing the best information as to how the car should be reacting, creating a map on that, and then importing that into your car for not only your location, but your driving, your driving method. Cars as devices, which include myriad hardware and software, are closed systems that are completely primitive by the yeah. standards of any other device that we buy. You can't log in and change settings. Yeah. You can press a sport button, yeah. But think about that. You can't even, if you get a BMW with you know, Google installed, you're restricted to going through the Google BMW dot, you know, Google yes, Fubai yes, interface. Yes. And, you know, the reason we are at this point is because of product liability laws. Exactly. However, if manufacturers would collaborate with the TomToms and Dashes and Revs of the world to allow us to do things like this, they would open up a universe of possibilities and income. The opposite of how music companies have fared. Music companies ignored music sharing technology. Yep. If manufacturers ignore engine performance and location technology and the ability to share it, then they are going to lose the opportunity that TomTom, Tom, Rev, mm -hmm. and Trapster already see. Well, I think that's all we've got time for today, Alex. Cool stuff, man. Road Testament? Road Testament. Great day. Tomorrow on Fast Lane Daily, who we have? Leo, of course. Leo Parente, wait, what's the show called? He's a uh, shakedown. He's looking over the uh, Formula One cars of 2010. It's going to be an amazing season. I look forward to it. That Renault car looks badass. It's awesome. All right, see you tomorrow. All right.